Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is morning prayer for Saturday, December 13th. It's the second week in Advent and the scripture for this service. Psalms 30 and 32 and Isaiah chapter 8 verse 1 to 15. And please join me in singing the first verse of Comfort, Comfort. Comfort, comfort ye my people, speak ye peace, thus saith our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness, mourning neath their sorrows low. Speak ye to Jerusalem of the peace that waits for them. Tell her that her sins I cover and her war there now is over. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. Psalms 30 and 32. And please join in reciting together with me. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Most High, my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. My God, you have brought me up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down into the pit. Sing to the Most High, O you saints, and give thanks for God's holiness. For God's anger lasts but a moment. God's favor is for a lifetime. Sorrow may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. God, by your favor, you have made me strong as a mountain. Then you hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried to you, O God, and to you I made my prayer. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? My God, hear me and have mercy upon me. My God, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. <clears throat> Therefore, I sing praise to your glory, and I am not silent. My most high God, I thank you forever. Blessed are they whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed are they in whom the Most High imputes no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones withered away, through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My mouth is turned dry like the summer drought. I acknowledge my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to you, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. The faithful shall pray for this in time of distress, in the time of flood. The great waters shall not come near them. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will teach you the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not as the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, lest they come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but mercy shall surround them that trust in God. Be glad in our God and rejoice, all you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright of heart. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, 
as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. A lesson from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. And then Yahweh said to me, Take a large tablet and write on it in common characters, belonging to Maher Shalal, and have it attested for me by reliable witnesses. The priest Uriah and Zechariah, son of Jerobachiah. And I went to the prophetess, and she conceived and bore a son. And then the Most High said to me, Name him Maher Shalal, for before the child knows how to call my father or my mother, the wealth of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria will be carried away by the king of Caesarea. <clears throat> the Most High spoke to me again, because this people has refused the waters of Shiloh that flow gently and melt in fear before resin and the son of Ramalia. Therefore, the Most High is bringing up against it the mighty flood waters of the river, the king of Assyria and all his glory. It will arise above all its channels and overflow all its banks. It will sweep on into Judah as a flood, and pouring over it will reach up to the neck, and its outspread wings will fill the breadth of your land. O Emmanuel, band together, you peoples, and be dismayed. Listen, all you far countries, gird yourselves and be dismayed. Gird yourselves and be dismayed. Take counsel together, but it shall be brought to naught. Speak a word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. For the Most High spoke thus to me while his hand was strong upon me and warned me not to walk in the way of this people, saying, Do not call conspiracy all that this people calls conspiracy, and do not fear what it fears or be in dread. But the Most High God of hosts, him you shall regard as holy. Let him be your fear, and let him be your dread. He will become a sanctuary, a stone one strikes against. For both houses of Israel, he will become a rock one stumbles over, a trap and a snare for the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble, they shall fall and be broken, they shall be snared and taken. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church of the world. And please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Bill and Joe, and for all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the mercy of God community, for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation, and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, let us commend one another in all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. 
for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us our sins and offenses, and guide us with your eye, and teach us the way we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.